Hi guys, and thanks for joining me again here on Art a la Carte. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to draw a horse jumping. Thank you guys so much for all of the great suggestions, comments, and requests for different tutorials. And this definitely has been a very widely requested tutorial, so I'm excited to bring it to you. So let's go to my art table and draw a horse jumping. Now, just like with any of my other drawings, I'm going to start off building up the shapes. That way I know that everything is in the right position and that it's proportioned correctly before I get into the really strong detail. Now, to create horse jumping, first of all, I have to say that there are so many ways to draw horse jumping from the different positions it takes throughout the entire jump and the angle, whether it's, you know, three quarters or coming straight at you or profile. So this is going to be just one version. It's going to be a profile of the horse jumping this um, sideways just after after the launch. So I'm going to start off first with the, the powerhouse part, which is the chest. Put in the chest circle right here. And because the horse is launching himself up into the air, um, this is going to be relatively higher than his rump. So I'm going to come down with the backbone here and put in his rump. The thing you want to do is the horse is really stretching himself out at this point and so you really want to elongate this area here just a little bit. I mean you don't want to do so much that he looks cartoonish uh, where he's like mm, stretchy like taffy or something but you don't want to have to worry about you know keeping this crunched in so you have a nice uh, circle for the chest circle for the rump and you have a nice you know area here for the barrel for the rib cage of the horse I highly recommend to look at lots of different photos as you're doing this especially if you're kind of new to the horse anatomy and to what's going on um, there's no way that I could really teach it it's I, I learned by observation. I learned by just watching and looking at horses and looking at photos of horses. So I encourage you to do the same thing. But here at the top, we're gonna see its backbone and right up here is its withers. This is kind of where the saddle sits. And we're gonna have its neck come out here and then the head's going forward to kind of help give it that, that power, that force going. It's kind of leading with its head. And I'll put a circle here for the front of the head and a circle here for the, like the mouth part of the head the muzzle right there and again you'll see I'm just going really really fast because this is the point that we want to be able to move things around um, at this point I won't erase anything even if I totally decide I want to change something about it I'll just leave it um, my focus is getting things in the right position now to get the legs in again I'm going to draw them just using um, just stick lines to help uh, put them in the right place so I'm going to put the shoulders away back here coming up this way is the shoulders, coming back to kind of the, the elbow of the horse, gathering up for the front part of the leg to the knee. I'll represent that with a circle. And then coming back, he's really gathering his front legs up to make it over whenever he's jumping. Back to his kind of ankle, and then down to his hoof. And again, not a lot of detail, just adding just some basic lines to indicate where that is. And a lot of times, in profile pictures, um, this leg is going to be in the same exact position as the leg on the other side. So you won't generally often see them. So you're never going to really see like this leg really high up and maybe this leg coming down. They really synchronize these all really well together. Not that you couldn't draw them to look like that. You could draw your horse to be in whatever position you want it to be. But if you want to be a little bit more realistic, these are going to mirror. The front two legs are going to kind of mirror each other. Now coming down here to the back of the legs, we're going to start back here with the, the back of the hips and are really going to be pushed this way to the kind of the knee and then back to the back leg and then down to the ankle. So you have this kind of weird little Z shape right here. Alright, so once you have this all positioned the way you want it and it's, it's looking you know, okay and um, you like the way it looks and uh, you know, you step back a little bit from it, take a peek at it and see if you know, your, the head looks like it's a good size, if it's too big or too small. Often if, you, if you're just drawing too close to your picture, sometimes you just don't see those kind of um, obvious flaws or misproportions right away. So just take, take a step back, look at the picture, and then continue on from there. So this next step is to flesh it out. This is where you're looking at the muscle and how the muscle and tendons work alongside the bone. So it comes down here much thicker at the top of the of the back of the leg. Coming down here is a little bit of a bone. Lots of muscle here, and then as it gathers down to the back 
of the leg than it really turned more into. I mean, there's still muscle, but not as much as say up here. A lot of tendons and things like that. Okay, so then very stretched in the flanks here. This is the flank area is kind of a nice tight skin. And then coming out is the underside of the of the of the belly of the horse going into the rib cage and then coming up to the front of the horse. And here just a really good shoulders coming forward. You almost see that shoulder bone and then the front of the leg coming up to the knee elbow there and then again just thinning it out once you get to that knee just like that all right so I got that really good shoulder in there look really carefully at this head there's the back of the cheek coming down to the bottom of the jaw down to the bottom of the muzzle and I'm not going to go into great detail I have um, several different videos on drawing horse heads so you can take a peek at those put the ears in here He's really focused. A lot of times horses, wherever they're focused, their attention to, their ears are kind of pointed in that direction. So he's really intent on what he's jumping towards. If maybe he was running from something, maybe there was something chasing him, his ears might be back um, as he's really kind of keeping tabs on whatever's behind him. But in this picture, he's really focused towards the front. And draw his little eye right here. And again, not going into a lot of detail on that one. Um, it's definitely a different video. But we'll put that neck in there and you'll see the neck is really thinner up here and as it gets closer and closer and closer to the main body it just widens out. So you want to make sure that you have that nice wide neck there. And then the last thing we want to put in here is his tail, which his tail is an extension of actual backbone. comes right out here like this. Now some horses when they jump they'll really carry their tail up really high. Um, some of them just kind of let it, you know, kind of go with the flow. So you just have to decide what your horse is wanting to do with his tail. And again, when I draw any tails or manes, I don't draw individual hair. I draw the shape of the mass of the hair. And I might draw it with several different lines, but you'll see that mainly it's the overall shape of the hair. And same thing with his mane. What would it be doing if it was, you know, launching up? So there we go. We have our horse in nice stride there. And again, this is the point that you really want to double check and make sure that everything is exactly the way you want it. And then you can take your eraser and go back through and clean up the lines that you don't need anymore. And then kind of go back in and start adding in your, your finalized detail, shading, shadowing, things like that. But this is kind of a a nice kind of idea of how to draw a horse jumping from a side profile position. And again, you might see just a little hint of the other leg on the other side, but not a lot. Same thing over here, you might just see just a hint of it right there. Just depends on kind of the angle that you're at. So these guidelines that I put in here, um, because I put them in nice and softly, really easy to go back and scrub those out of there. I get a lot of comments from my viewers saying that uh, they have a hard time drawing soft, that uh, their lines are always just really, really hard, and, and so trying to erase them is just difficult. Um, and it comes with practice. It comes with just, I, I remember struggling with that too. And I would look at these artists who would draw these amazing lines and they were just so fluid and light and airy. And what I drew, I just like was carving them into stone and it was really frustrating. And there wasn't really anything, um, any of my art instructors or uh, people I was kind of seeking advice from could really tell me other than just practice and you'll get it and so I just I encourage you first so you can you know try holding your pencil lightly don't grip it with like you know a death grip um, use a pencil that has a darker lead so you know if you like that nice dark lead feel switch to maybe um, a 4b pencil will give you a nice dark lead without having to scrub it in super hard it usually erases out fairly easy um, that's what I had to do until I finally kind of learned to be okay with a light drawn line. 
at first. So, you know, but just don't give up. Don't get frustrated. Um, just look at other people's drawings that have done it just with a fluent line and then go back and see if you can mimic that type of drawing. All right, so once you have the horse all cleaned up, you might just want to fix anything that you need. I'm going to put a little bit more weight to the backbone there. Just a little bit. And then you can go ahead and add in some shadowing. I'm going to go ahead and do that in a separate uh, tutorial. I've had a lot of people ask some more. Um, I have several videos on shading and shadowing, but um, you know it's always good to see it from a different angle, a different perspective. So I'll do that in, an, in a separate video. So if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that video. Or if you're already subscribed, um, I will definitely send you a notice in your YouTube feed of when that video is made ready. Um, if you're not watching this video right when it was posted, it might already be posted. So go check out my video archives. Or if I remember, I will try to put a link in the description box of this video so you can click right over to give, get to that video. So that'd be super fun. Well, thank you guys for drawing with me. Hope this helped you to draw your horse jumping. If you'd like to see horses in a different position or a different angle, let me know in the comment section below so I can try to do those for you. So have fun drawing. Thank you guys so much for drawing with me today. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.